These models I'm showing you are the most biofidelic models to explain pain uh, once it's subcategorized. So here's probably the most common CrossFit injury that I have to deal with. So there is a spinal unit. The spinal cord slides up and down, as you know. And inside the disc, which is not a ball and socket, it's an adaptable fabric. So the, the disc is made up of collagen fibers, like a fabric, and uh, fabric delaminates. So if I took my jacket, very nice Alico lifting <laughs> jacket, by the way, we, we're, we're, we're sponsored here at BackFit Pro by several outstanding manufacturers. So we don't have anything that we don't agree with and use, but Alico bars are the best uh for olympic bars but anyway so now i'm going to create stress strain reversals on this lovely jacket i will wear a hole right there so the fabric delaminates so if the crossfitter doesn't pay attention to form but here's the unique thing of crossfit and it's fatigue they start out lifting well and then fatigue causes their form to break and slowly that movement will cause delaminating stresses in those collagen fibers. Now those collagen fibers contain a hydraulic disc nucleus in the center. That's hydraulic fluid. So the external load creates a magnified internal load and a huge hydraulic pressure inside the nucleus. Now you start working the collagen fibers back and forth and they slowly loosen. So it's the ground substance between the fibers and some of the fibers will actually micro fracture at the Sharpies fr uh, fibers where they attach to the bone. So we get micro breaks in the bone. Again, you don't see this on MR, you'll see some of the edema or in a bone scan, you'll see the heat and metabolic activity. Slowly, the collagen will delaminate and you get, see that little red delamination? Now let's create some hydraulics here. I'm gonna move the nerves out of the way. I'm going to squeeze the joint and bend forward. So they're getting tired now. They're doing a bit more butt wink in a squat or a bit more flexion when they lift. Do you see the delamination yeah. opening and the hydraulic uh, pressure pushing the gel out the back onto the nerve root. So that's the mechanism of a disc herniation.